Uh, and now, Terry, to your penultimate poem, which is by that great Scots versifier, <laughs> McGonagall. Uh, the, the poem is The Taybridge Disaster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here he is! Oh. <laughs> and we have to read it. We've got Cameron Cox Smith. <laughs> And he is from poetry allowed. <laughs> so come on and give us your worst. I'm sorry, your best. <laughs> the Taybridge Disaster by Sir William Copus McGonagall, as declared Knight of the White Elephant by the King of Burma. Beautiful railway bridge of the Silvery Tay. And alas, I am very sorry to say that ninety lives have been taken away on the last Sabbath day of 1879, which will be remembered for a very long time. <laughs> it was about seven o'clock at night, and the wind it blew with all its might, and the rain came pouring down, and the dark clouds seemed to frown, and the demon in the air seemed to say, I'll blow down that brigadier. When the train left Edinburgh, the passengers' hearts were light and felt no sorrow. But Boreas blew a terrific gale, which made their hearts fought to fail, and many of the passengers who feared it say, I hope God will send us safe across the bridge of Tain. But when the train came near to Warwick Bay, Boreas he did loud and angry bray, and shook the central girders of the Brigade on the last Sabbath day of 1879, which shall be remembered for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> for the train sped on with all its might, and body on these and ho in sight, and the passengers heads felt light, thinking they would enjoy themselves in the new year. With their friends at home they loved most dear, and wished them all a happy new year. <laughs> so the train moved slowly along the bridge of pain until it was about midway. Then the central girders with a crash gave way, and down went the train and the passengers into the pain. The storm fiend did loudly bray because ninety lives had been taken away on the last Sabbath day of 1879, which will be remembered. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as the catastrophe came to its own, the alarm from mouth to mouth was blown, and the cry rang out on all the two. Good heavens, the day bridge is broken down. <laughs> And a passenger train from Edinburgh, which filled all the people's hearts with sorrow and made them all for to turn pale, because none of the passengers were saved to tell the tale of how the disaster happened on the last Sabbath day of 1879. Which will be remembered. Time! must have been an awful sight to witness in the dusky moonlight, while the storm fiend did laugh and angry did play along the railway bridge of the Silvery Tay. Oh, ill-fated bridge of the Silvery Tay! I must now conclude my lay <laughs> by telling the world fiercely, without the least dismay, that your central girders would not have given way, at least many sensible people say, had they been supported on each side with buttresses. At least many sensible men confess it. For the stronger we are houses to build, the less chance we have of being <laughs>
you chose that? <laughs> <laughs> I have the whole book of McGonagall's poems. Oh, is that it? <laughs> he was a poet par excellence. I know. <laughs> I now understand how you survived. Oh, <laughs> right. now, For a very long time. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> 